Most of us can count on seeing our dentist at least twice a year for a cleaning and checkup, but sometimes an unexpected visit is necessary if you have a dental emergency. Emergencies that Dr. Joseph Harmon and Dr. Lee Alkey of Delmarva Dental Services tend to every day. People have injuries. They have injuries, they break their teeth, they fall, or they have toothaches and things like that, so it's very common for us to see emergencies. And the injuries can vary in severity, ranging from a toothache or sensitive tooth to swelling, jaw ache, a broken filling or broken tooth, a knocked out tooth, or a broken dental appliance. Knowing which emergency needs immediate attention is key. Many times what a patient interprets as an emergency is somewhat subjective. Dr. Harmon says you also may want to skip the emergency room. Usually what happens is if you go to the emergency room, they just give you medicine and then you still have to go see the dentist. That's why the folks at Delmarva Dental Service Services say they offer Saturday hours and will respond to certain emergencies during off hours. Emergencies like a knocked out tooth. Because if you knock an adult tooth out, it has to be implanted back in within two hours. If you go to the emergency room on Saturday and you walk in on Monday to the dentist's office, he can't do that. It's too late. Unfortunately, Dr. Harmon says that doesn't apply to baby teeth. But it's important to get looked at even though because there's usually soft tissue trauma and there could be bone fracture and some people may think the whole tooth out but part of it's out and part of it's in so it's still important to get that checked out. A broken filling is another good reason to get into a dentist chair but it doesn't necessarily need to be addressed by the dentist right away. It could be an old filling, could be that you broke the tooth around a filling, um, could be that you've broken it really significantly and you may need some substantial work, maybe the pieces are actually moving, or maybe you've just sheared a little piece off and it really doesn't even hurt, but you couldn't find the piece anyway and you're doing okay, it might be cutting your tongue, you know, that's something you can come in um, within a reasonable amount of time, but not necessarily an urgent emergency. Mm -hmm. Another reason to make an immediate dentist appointment is jaw pain. Most jaw aches are due to swelling and infections. Um, and jaw ache would be, when, I, when it's a swelling, that's, that's pretty significant and you should seek treatment right away when you have a swelling. If it's a muscle ache or a jaw joint ache, that necessarily isn't an emergency, but you need to get it looked at, but you don't necessarily have to go right away to get it looked at. And it could be just you overused your jaw, or it could be the beginning of an abscess, or it could be something else. It can be related to your wisdom teeth coming in if you're around that age group. Um, it can also be related to trauma if you are hit in a sports injury or a car accident um, and your jaw is actually shifted from one side to the other um, and it, it, you experience that acute type of trauma, you could have jaw ache, muscle ache, popping, clicking, locking. You could initiate uh, a TMJ or temporomandibular joint pain that you didn't have before. Like any other health issue, Dr. Harmon says an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. The best way to protect your teeth from injury is not use your teeth as tools. And basically that means, and when I say tools, that means don't open things with them, don't break plastic tags off with your teeth, don't crack things with them. Ice chewing is the worst, and there are a lot of ice chewers out there. Ice chewers end up with a lot of cracks. Dr. Harmon adds those cracks may not seem like a big deal at first, but can turn into a huge problem if left untreated. Those are dangerous because those are the ones that progress and they're the ones that can cause unnecessary dental work. You can split the tooth in half. You, it may cause you to have a root canal. Whereas if you would have gotten it fixed when it first became sensitive, you could avoid a lot of those things. Mm 